Okay, guys, um, I'm going to do a quick uh, tutorial on uh, how to bias a JVM um, 410H, or you could do the other JVM, what's it, the 205, the 50 watt? I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. But anyway, it's kind of the same concept. Uh, they're, first off, this is very easy to do. Um, I don't see you, anybody bringing this to a uh, tech no offense to a tech guy, but to do it because it, it's it's pretty simple. Um, and let, let me just show you because there's there's some videos on it where it, it pisses me off when you want to learn something and somebody's playing music to something and they're not talking and telling you what they're doing or they're not explaining themselves because they're just stupid or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, here's how easy this is to... Uh, to uh, bias. Um, first off, the head I got on, on on the shell, on back of the shell, which I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but it's very easy. You just flip the head over. Over here, there'll be two screws here, two screws on the other side. You just pop them screws out, and then you e easily, you know, take take the head out. You could grab the transformers and do it. Um, and pull it out and then like I said you you flip it over into its shell right here but just be careful you know you, you don't hit the tubes obviously just be very careful putting it in there but it fits in there perfect and it's a good way to hold it anyway here's how I did it and um, I'm sure some of you guys might be like what the hell uh, you could buy uh, this or you could get this or, or you could buy a uh, uh, this cord or this meter and it'll be easier, but this, this is the way that I did it the average guy who, who just You know has shit lying around the house and uh, the, uh, Here's here's how I did it with the stuff lying around the house. Well, I took first off 14 gauge wire this is and I spliced three ends and I'll explain it to you in a second and then I marked one black because that's going to be your ground. The two whites are obvious going to be your uh, hot. And what I did, I mean, you could use alligator clips or, you know, whatever. But th this is what I did. I'm just going to explain it to you my way. Um, I took the end of the uh, multimeter and I put these two together, which it's hard to do this and hold the phone. Put these two together and I used a, a wire nut. A wire nut like this, as you can see, right here, right there, and it works perfectly. Um, that colored wire nut, them two, it works perfectly. The ground you can leave on because you're not going to mess with the ground, and I'll explain that in a minute. That's for that, the meter. So like I said, one side, you're going to have three prongs up there, I'll show you. You want to do one side at a time. Um, on, on the positive side, and I'll explain that now. Um, after I, I explain the wiring over here, um, I took, as you could see, there's three pins. There's your positive here, your negative in the middle, and then another positive on that side. And the pin looks like that. I don't know if you could see that. I think focusing for some reason. Oh, there we go. There's the pin now. I took my splicer, and as you could see, I spliced it a little bit forward. Why? So when I do this, when I do that, I could slide that back on there. Like I said, 14 gauge works pretty damn good on there. Um, I, I put them there, and as you can see, they got like a little bit of a loop. That's so they stay down. And I clamped them with these clamps right here. Just so the wire stays down on, on, the, on the pin. Like I said, the alligator clips and stuff probably be more easier. And I'm sure there's other easier ways. But, uh, yeah, after you get that all set, and like I said, you could only do one side at a time when you adjust this. Because that's for one set of tubes. This side's for the other set of tubes. And, again, the middle is the ground. Um, you come over here now to the meter. You know, make sure you set your meter right. A lot of guys don't set it right. You want it right here on, on 200 M, and that's obviously millivolts. Um, I don't have, have this set right now on, so 
that's why we're not reading right now. But anyway, make sure that these wires are correct. A lot of guys don't put them correct and they can't get the reading right. Um, I see on Google and they don't understand why. You have to make sure that, you know, your positive is on one side and your, uh, you know, your negative is on, on, on the other side, which is, says the common. The common says for the negative and the V on, on my meter says for the um, positive. Anyway, okay, so back to, back to here. Now you'll see the pots on here. That's, that's one pot for that, for this side. And that's the other pot for the other side. Now, you go to, you go to any store and get a small screwdriver like this. I'm, guys, I'm sorry about the, the camera. It's, it's, it's pissing me off. It's not focusing too well. Anyway, a, a small little screwdriver like that, and um, what you do is right there is in the middle, right there in the middle, you put the screwdriver and you turn that knob right there, that one in the middle. Um, that's the... Uh, uh, pot for one side and then the other pot for the other side now um what you want to do first is you want to put the amp on plug it in put it on standby let it heat up maybe like 15 minutes or so an important note don't touch anything in this amplifier it, it could kill you it could kill you even when it's not plugged in because they hold the charge still just don't touch anything over here and over there, just just stay where the pot is over there and you'll be fine. You can touch the pot wires, you know, like that. It, it ain't going to shock you. It ain't going to hurt you because, you know, like, like this side's hooked to that side. And then I'll unscrew this here and I'll go to this side and put it back onto the, uh, the, uh, pro, uh, the uh, multimeter for that side. Um... So back to here. Now, once once it's warmed up, a couple of things you want to make sure. you got a speaker load on it. It's very important. And you put your master volumes down, all the way down to zero. zero. Zero them bad boys out. Because if they're moved up like that or anything, you, you won't get the right reading. It won't get the right reading. So make sure that that is zero down. The standby is off. And you just look at your meter. Now, I'm biasing. I, I'm just going to throw out a number so you understand. Let's say that that says 35 on there. It says 35. Okay, that's for this side. Now, if I want the other side to be 35, I'll, 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 I'll adjust the other side to 35. Now, you got to check the other side because... One side will affect the other side. So if I get this close to 35, this side, I recheck that when it said 35 because that was the first one I checked. It might go up to 36 or might go down. Uh, you, you might have to adjust it. So it's kind of like a ping pong game you're, you're playing, uh, but it's really not that bad. Uh, you kind of get it in a ballpark, but you, you might not get it them both dead on. Uh, maybe I'm wrong and a tech could answer that, you know, better. But uh, you want to kind of get get it in the same park of 35, somewhere in there. You know, one might be 39 point, I'm sorry, 34.7. And the other one might be uh, 35.1 or 2. Try to get them in, the, in, 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 you know, as close as could be. Now, once you set that, now you could take your, um, your, your guitar, plug it in, obviously. Put your volumes up. Play the amp and see how you like it. How do you like how it sounds? Play it for a while and, and, and hear with your ears. Um, when you bias an amp, there's a hot bias and then there's cold bias. Um, each one will give you a different kind of tone and let the amp react different. Uh, tone is very subjective. Uh, I'm sorry, subjective. And um, some people, it pisses me off when they sit there and they think they're right on what they say. Me, 
I like it in the middle. Some people will say colder's better. Some people will say hot's better. Some people say in the middle's better. You know what? What you do is, is you find out through either Marshall Manufacturer what they bias their tubes at, or where you're, if you're getting them from a tube store, um, they're very knowledgeable on what these tubes should be, what kind of range number they should kind of be, so they'll give you like a range to shoot for. Now it's up to you to see what you like. That's why I'm showing you this video because if you have a tech do it and nothing against you know any any kind of tech, I man, I understand you guys are making a living out there, but when it comes to tone, let's say I give this amp to a tech and, and he biases it and he asks me, well, do you want a hot or cold or whatever? Most people don't even understand what the what that is. So what they're going to do is is maybe Google it and some idiot on Google is going to tell you that this is the way to do it. So you're going to go do it. So now you go bring the, the head home and it sounds a little bit different from when you gave it to him. Why does it sound like that is because he biased it to his ears, to what he liked on what based upon what you're telling him. So why not you yourself just just that's how it's so easy to do. You bias it yourself and hear for yourself. You know, uh, w you know the, the tone on what you like instead of having somebody else do it for you. It's very, very simple on this amp. Some other amps I I seen on YouTube are are, are really hard, but uh, anyway, that's all you do. So you play the amp for a while, and then again, now when you have to rebias it or, or check it, put your master volumes all the way down to zero. You can leave the amp on; it's no problem. Now you go over here to your multimeter. You check one side. Now let's say again the number is 35. You were shooting for, maybe it went up to 37, or maybe it went down. Let, let, let's just make pretend that it went up a little, right? Let's say it's it went up to 37 almost. Okay. Now you check this side. Go check that side again and see what that side says. That side says maybe it went up to 36. 0.8 or something right so now you go back to this side and you kind of adjust it back down to near 35 check the other side kind of adjust it near there and like i said it's a ping pong game try to get it as accurate as you can but you're never going to get it dead on i mean maybe i'm wrong with that but you're from what i understand is you're never going to get it dead on but you'll get it into the ballpark and then again play your amp for a while let let them tubes uh you know, break in, play it, and then recheck it again. I do it about three times, sometimes four. Maybe that's overkill to some people, and they're going to say, well, you're an idiot, but that's the way I do it, and then I just check it. Um, but anyway, that's how easy it is to bias a, J, uh, a JVM amplifier. Um, and I, I just wanted to do this video because I've seen some videos on it where it wasn't too clear, or another video where... No offense to the guy, but he was playing music and he wasn't telling you what he was doing. Maybe I'm stupid and, you know, people could just see what he's doing. But I would rather have somebody tell me what they're doing and explain it. So that's why I did this video. Again, I'm sure there's better wires to use, uh, the alligator clips. Uh, maybe there's a better meter, whatever. I, I, I This is what I had in my uh, tool shed, so to speak. And this is what I did because I didn't feel like going to the store. I was I was too lazy. So there's no need to call me an asshole or to knock me. Again, I'm just showing you the principle regardless to if you have the different wire or different meter. That's This is how easy it is to uh, uh, bias the amplifier. So hope everybody liked the video. Um, and uh, th that's about it. Uh, any questions, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them. But... It's pretty much in black and white what you do, and uh, that's about it. And again, when you flip this this over again, just be careful again with the tubes because I don't know if you could see it, but the tubes are down there, and moving it too close to here while you're flipping it could break them. So just be very careful. Just pull it up, you know, up straight. Your head. Um, that's about it. So uh, hope hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I, I clarified how to do this uh, so so you could do it yourself. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care.